Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the love readings. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what spirit has for you Libras out there in regards to love and romance. How are you doing Libra? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Are you guys excited? Because I am. The weather's changing over here. It's starting to feel a little bit more like autumn, which is my favorite time of the year. So I am thriving, baby. <laughs> All right, spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, what are the messages that you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance? All right, let's get into your reading, Libra. You have the Ace of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Tower, oof the devil seven of swords what the hell is going on libra partners cards ten of pentacles sorry ten of cups ten of swords strength card eight of swords nine of wands temperance hmm huh. all right libra you're wanting honesty and you're wanting clarity. And I feel that there's been lack of that in this connection. Could be with the person that you're with or the person that you've been dealing with. I want to say off the bat here with the Tower, the Devil, and the Seven of Swords. I feel that they haven't been completely honest or transparent with you. Or this could be your energy, Libra, because it is your cards. Um, so it could be you, the one that's been not being consistent it could be you that has been emotionally checked out for some of you guys you could be dealing with a third party situation or it could be that you are in a connection with this person however there could have been some type of connection with the third party um the three of pentacles leads me to believe that there is a desire or a want to continue working in the situation or wanting to fix um some type of some type of situation where there was not much clarity behind it and i feel that you know from the cards of your partner i feel heavily like this could be you the one that's doing the double dealing libra however if it's not just know without a doubt um that the person you're dealing with has it's almost like this complex of i am going to be complete transparent very blunt um, and that's going to excuse my behavior. Do you see what I'm saying? It's almost like, because what I'm hearing is I'm not looking for anything long term. But yet the moment they realize that you are emotionally invested in the situation, they don't care to sit there and be like, you know what? I feel like you're getting too involved. We need to give each other some room. No, they continuously keep leading you on. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's almost a feeling like they hide behind this facade that I'm extremely blunt and, you know, they, their words literally cut like knives. Um, and it's like they hide behind, oh, I'm, I'm going to be honest and truthful. But in reality, it's a form of manipulation. Um, because we do have the devil here with the seven of swords and the tower. So for some of you guys, it could be that you recently got news that the person you've been dealing with or are in a relationship with stepped out of the relationship. And it's almost like a feeling of somehow along the way or along the process, they're making you feel like you're the one that's at fault for that. Um, you know, you weren't as present. You weren't attentive. You weren't physical. You Whatever the situation may be, at the end of the day, it doesn't give them the right to step out. It doesn't give them the right to go look for whatever they feel is missing in the relationship with someone else. So if you are dealing with the situation, Libra, don't fall for that bullshit. I'm going to be honest. Don't fall for that. Because with the devil, the tower, and the seven of swords, they're full of shit. And this is a person that uses manipulation tactics and turns the situation around completely to the point of making you feel like you're at fault or you're the reason why they did whatever they did. And that's manipulation at its finest. Now, the cards that are representing them and how they're viewing the situation, Ten of Cups, they understand and they know that they effed up. With the Ten of Swords, it's like they know that you have the right to walk away, 
with the strength card it's it's an arrogant type of energy where they understand you could walk away but they know you know they're confident about themselves and they know that you it's not going to be that easy for you to walk away the nine of swords you are like you feel stuck or they see you as someone that is going to be it's going to be very difficult for them for you to walk away from this situation so again with the strength card and the nine of wands it's almost like they're cocky even in their understanding that you're not going to walk away um with the temperance it's like they're aware they know what they're doing and in the temperance it's almost it's a representation of like the alchemist right having the patience and the time to create something having the patience and time to convince you that they've changed to convince you that they're gonna do better but here's the thing. The tower, the devil, and the seven of swords, this person is not going to change. And you need to understand that, Libra. So wherever you stand in this situation, and if you're dealing with this situation, what they're telling you here is, you know, it, it's, yes, you want to put effort. Yes, you want to, you know, fix it. For some of you guys, it could be a relationship that's been over 10 years. Um what i'm not here to tell you what you what you should do my personal advice based on this situation is cut the cord because you're holding on to hope that they're going to change but i feel very heavily here with the strength the nine of wands and the temperance they're not going to change they are arrogant and they are like they feel that they have the right or they feel like they know you so well that they can tame you, that they can manipulate you into forgiving them. You don't need that type of energy, Libra. I hope that this gives you some type of guidance, and I wish you guys the very best. We'll see each other soon. Bye.